Hey everybody, my name is Chandler LeVan Stevenson. And I'm Alexander Vaughn Billmeyer. And as you guys know, the world is in, you know, a very uncertain set of circumstances right now. And especially for theater professionals, mm -hmm. you know, a lot has changed and it's become a lot more difficult to be able to present art in the way that we have been in the past. But we think as artists, it's our responsibility to find new ways to present this work and have it come forward. And that's why Chandler and I have created a platform where we would like anyone that wants to, to be able to share their work and have it be seen and heard in a virtual setting. Lastly, we would like to thank Karen Berman and the GC Theater Department for allowing us to use their platform to bring forward, to advertise, and encourage us to create new work during quarantine. Thank you guys so much. We hope you enjoy. Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Stage Readings with Alex and Chandler. Today, we will be reading Sweatshirt by Alexander Billmeyer. It's a 10-minute comedy play for mature audiences. I'll be playing the role of Kyle and Chandler will be playing the role of Eddie in the play. And then of course, we'll have the lovely Claire Hemingway reading stage directions for us. Thank you guys. Sweatshirt by Alexander Von Billmeyer. Lights up on Kyle's face as he stares frantically into the front camera of his iPhone, waiting anxiously for his video call to be answered. He appears to be calling from inside a large walk-in shower. He is panicked, sweaty, and also fully clothed. When it begins to look like the, phone, the person he is calling might not pick up, the call finally connects to Eddie's phone. He is face down in his bed, head firmly buried in his pillow, looking very much asleep. Or dead. It's hard to tell. Oh, thank God. Eddie. Eddie. Dude. Dude, wake up for real. Huh? What, what happened? I got myself into a little situation. Okay, actually, it's a pretty big situation. Well, what what time is it? Forget the time, dude. I'm in some serious shit. You gotta help me, please. Uh, listen, my guy. If you're really silly enough to sit on the toilet twice in one week without checking to see if there's toilet paper on the roll, I'm gonna have to let you fight this battle on your own. You're, you're gonna have to use your little monogrammed Shut towel. Up. Shut up! I'm not at the apartment, dude. So then where the hell are you? Are you in the shower? Yes, I'm, I'm in Sarah's mom's bathroom. I'm, I'll explain later, but you gotta help me, dude. Wait, 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 wait. You are in your ex-girlfriend's house in her, her mom's shower at, at 1 a.m. in the morning? Yes, so I need you to nice, help Nice, dude. That's what I'm talking about, my man. What? No, I... Oh my god, dude, no! That's not what I'm- that's not what's happening! I'm stuck here because I was trying to- You do to, not to, have to explain yourself to me. You're my hero for this. Oh man, no, no way, was it good? Uh, you- you gotta tell me it. Is it how I described to you how I imagined it would be? Eddie, you need- <laughs> He's probably asleep, huh? Eddie! Man, that is so evil too. What, what a twisted way to get back at Sarah. Yeah, I, I love it. I never liked her, dude. I mean, you know that, but getting with her mom? <laughs> What do you even come up with this stuff, man? I mean, that is diabolical. Daddy! Yeah, what's up? Just shut up and listen to me, okay? All right. I mean, all you, all you gotta do is ask. Sheesh. I'm not here to do that with her mom, all right? I'm here because, because I'm taking my sweatshirt back, okay? She kept it when we broke up, or when I broke up with her, and I know she's got it around here somewhere. I remember very clearly leaving it with her, and I know she knows exactly how I feel about that sweatshirt because I wore it all the time, and now she's keeping it as one last screw you for breaking up with her. So you broke into her house to get your ratty-ass sweatshirt back? It's not ratty! And I didn't uh, break in, I, I just, you know, <laughs> let myself in with the key that she keeps under the mat in the back porch. Uh, okay, one, yes it is, two, Definitely broke in. And three, why did you call me in the middle of your little extraction mission? I mean, I'm flattered, but- Because I need you to help me figure out a way out of here. I was halfway up the stairs when I heard the front door open. I, I panicked and I ran to the first door I saw. They weren't supposed to come home into from the beach until tomorrow. Oh yeah, man, that, that is bad. I mean, you're really caught between a rock and a hard place. It, why'd they come home so early? Or wait, late. No, no, early. <laughs> I have no earthly idea, Ed, but that's hardly the most pressing matter right now. Well, how am I supposed to help? I've never been to that house in my life. Well, neither have I. They moved in like three years ago or something, or months, months. Well, then, then how did you know that there was a key under the mat? Uh, b b because, um, it, it, 
was a lucky guess. Doesn't everyone keep a key under the mat? I mean, uh, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to pretend that you didn't just sound very guilty of watching your ex-girlfriend's house in order to steal a sweatshirt. She stole it first. I'm not talking. I'm just speaking back what's mine. And yeah, just forget about the whole doormat thing. Just delete that from your memory. I will do my best. <laughs> it sounds like they're just talking in the kitchen right now, but who knows how long I have. They could come upstairs any minute. I'm, I'm losing my shit, dude. You got to help me. All right, all right, all right. Just, just. Keep calm. Breathe. You know, breathe. I am breathing. I'm just trying to help. Well, help faster. Uh, okay. Uh, the, are there any windows in the bathroom or, or, or something that you could you can make the jump? Okay. There's only one window in here, and it's above the bathtub, directly over the steep ass driveway. I can't jump, dude. It'll break my ankles for sure. Damn, you're right. I mean, you do have little bird bones. They snap like twigs. Hey, can you give me shit some other time? This is serious. If if Sarah and her mom catch me in here, I'd have to move to Ohio, get plastic surgery, and change my name to Greg or something. That's if they don't call the police and you go to jail for breaking and entering. Not helping. Sorry. <laughs> okay, come on. Just think, think, think. Hey, you're, you're gonna have to leave the bathroom if you're gonna, gonna make it out of there alive, bro. I mean, you got this. You know, remember, ninja mode. Please never say ninja mode to me again. That's so lame. Wait, shh, 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 wait, wait. Both Kyle and Eddie freeze motionless while Kyle strains to hear downstairs. I think they just turned on the TV. God, if you're up there, I owe you one. God takes IOUs? And also, who starts watching TV at 1 a.m.? Eddie, I've watched you do that probably hundreds of times. I... Yeah, no comment. They were probably just jet lagged or something. That's why. Thank God. Maybe it, Maybe I'm not screwed yet. I can still pull this off. No. Yes! As much as I love bad ideas, this is an actual bad idea. A bail on the sweatshirt, man. You can get a new favorite sweatshirt. It doesn't work like that, man. It, it was more than just a sweatshirt. It, it, was, it was part of me. It, she took a piece of my soul, dude. Right. Well, if you can get out of this girl's house alive, we'll go get you a new piece of soul or the eagle or wherever it is you shop. Kyle makes his way carefully to the stairs, but stops when he hears the door near the top of the stairs. He stops dead. What is it? It's her room. Dude, it, hey, I, I, I'm telling you it's a bad idea. It, it, it's not worth going jail over. You don't even know for sure if it's in there. What if she threw it away? She would never do that. Yeah, things ended in a well, well, it was less than friendly, but sh she wouldn't do that to me. She couldn't be that heartless. It's in here. It's gotta be. I can feel it in my bones. Oh, weird. Well, if your connection to this thing is that deep, I guess you gotta fulfill your destiny. I'll visit you in jail. <laughs> Kyle slowly pushes the door to Sarah's room open and goes to the dresser. He starts rifling through drawers. Still not helping. As if there was anything I could do to actually help. I'm just along for the ride. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, I'm glad you called. This is way more excited than sleeping. Oh, well, I hope that my terrifying, potentially life-ruining adventure of a breaking and entering has been entertaining for you so far. It, it has been. Damn, it's not in here. I, the only other place it could be is in her closet. I know it's close. Okay, quick Pete in the closet, and then just... You gotta clear out of there. I, I, I don't wanna figure out how to mail you letters in prison. It feels complicated. Yeah, yeah, it'll only take a second. Kyle throws clothes on hangers aside until he stops dead. His face drops to a dead-eyed glaze. What? No. No, 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 no. This, is, this isn't real. This, this isn't happening. She... Why would she do this? How could she do this? Eating from a box of Cheez-Its on his nightstand. And she got dead bodies in there? I always knew she was shifty. I, I tried to tell you, Kyle. No, it it's worse. She, she destroyed it. She, she turned it into a crop top. Really? Well, I mean, it, it ain't all that bad. I mean, guys in the 80s used to wear crop tops all the time. Yeah, bring it back, dude. Just take the crop top and run. I just, I don't understand. We, we had such a good thing going for such a long time. I, I remember the first time we met, we ran into each other at the mall. I guess I did most of the running and the slipping and the falling, but 
we fit so well together. It, it seemed like we were, we were just made for each other, you know? All those years through the good and the bad, it felt like we were really connected. Like we really truly understood each other. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, it, it's easy to, under, to remember the bad times, but I think it's important to remember the good times too, right? First movie date, first road trip together, first time sleeping in the same bed. I, I can honestly say I've never felt that way before about anyone or anything. I really knew what it felt like to, to be in love. And, and now, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, what, what was the point of all of this if things had to end as ugly as they did? Eddie has been listening to this an increasingly amount of serious concern showing on his face. Okay, Eddie, you're my bro, and, and bros are straight up with each other, so I'm, I'm going to lay it out. I'm not exactly certain whether we're talking about your ex-girlfriend or the sweatshirt right now. And either is fine. I just need, need to know up front right now so I can pre prepare myself to accept the fact that my best friend has either gone completely slap crazy <laughs> and his fondest romantic memories are the, the ones he shared with an inanimate piece of clothing or that, you know, he misses his ex a little bit. <laughs> Eddie sits back from the table and waits respectfully and hypertentively for Kyle's response. Eddie, how can you seriously think that I'm talking? Okay, <laughs> fine, yeah, I, I, I see your point. Um, to clear things up, I was definitely talking about Sarah. But uh, wow. Maybe I did take this a little too far. <laughs> That's what I've been saying. Normally, I like to encourage foolishness and bad choices, but I, I just don't want you to get busted, man. Yeah, I guess, I guess I was just so upset about how things were left between the two of us. She, she really is the first girl I ever said I love you to, and I don't just throw that word around. You know that. I, I didn't want to break up with her. I, I mean, I did, but I didn't. It just, it felt like we were out of sync. Like we weren't communicating, like we weren't meshing anymore. And, and I didn't know how to communicate those feelings very well. So I thought it would just, it would hurt us both less if I just let go. <laughs> I thought I wanted the sweatshirt, but um, I think what I really need is to maybe meet up with Sarah and talk some things over if, if she'll let me. I care too much about her to let things stay where they are. That's really big of you, man. I I'm proud of you. And by the way, I, I don't really mean all that stuff I said about her. She's a good girl. I just, I was just trying to make you feel better is all. And I just want what's best for you. I love you, dog. <laughs> I love you too, man. So uh, are you gonna take what you came for or are you just gonna spend all night looking for a prom dress? Nah, <laughs> what's the point? If if she cut it apart like that and then hung it up in her closet, she'll notice it was gone. And if I'm ever going to have any kind of chance of fixing things with Sarah, leaving evidence of me breaking into her house is probably not a great way to start. <laughs> I think I got to let it go, man. Yeah. See, your journey wasn't for nothing. You regained the most important outerwear of all. Love or something. I don't know. <laughs> that made absolutely no sense. Yeah, I know. But I... I guess you are right. I'll find a new sweatshirt. It was starting to get a little small on me anyway. <laughs> Kyle tunes in to hear talking downstairs. He only hears the last bit spoken by Sarah. I think I've got some in my room, followed by creaking of feet on steps. Oh, crap, dude. She's coming up the stairs. What do I do? Window time, baby. Throw that open and aim for the pool. They don't have a pool, Eddie. Really? Whoops. Aim for the bushes then. Jesus Christ, Ed. Kyle steps out of the window onto the roof, closing the window and stepping to the side of the window just as Sarah enters her room. It could not have been closer. Uh, holy shit, that was uh, too close. Watching it was pretty cool though. <laughs> I'm glad you're not going to jail though. That would be not awesome. <laughs> How are you getting off that roof by the way? Uh, I was just thinking about that. I think I get to be lucky just this once. There's a pretty big ass tree on the right side of the house I can jump to from the roof and I think I can climb to the ground. Hell yeah, dude. Well, seeing how a crisis is averted, I'm 
I'm going to go back to sleep. I'm sorry about your sweatshirt, man, but, but hey, you know what they say. What do they say? Uh, uh, I screwed. I don't know. I had something, but I forgot. Uh, hey, will you pick me up some wings from a uh, wing stop on the way home? Yeah. Only if you help me thrift for a new sweatshirt this weekend. Deal? Deal. The two boys throw up the deuces sign in unison at each other and then hang up the phone. Thank you guys for watching. We're actually having a really great time exploring all these new ways to, to film this new work. And if you guys have any new work that you want to experiment with, contact either of us. Yeah, we're really excited to collaborate and put out some new art for a virtual audience. So thank you guys. Thank you.